Alright guys, in this tutorial we'll be making an intro in Windows Live Movie Maker. There's two things you'll need to make an intro. You're going to need background intro clips, and you're going to need intro music. And the links for both of these websites will be in the description. So on this website, there's tons of different loops to choose from. But we'll just do slow motion loops. And I would only download the rectangle ones because they are in widescreen. The square ones are not widescreen. So just click on the one you like. And just download it to your desktop. Now you're going to need music to go along with that video. And this website has around 10 second clips. Some of them might be 15 seconds. And there's different styles to choose from. So you can play the music track, and if you like it, just download free music track to your desktop. And once you have those downloaded, go to Windows Live Movie Maker. And minimize it so you can drag in your video clip. And take your music clip and drag it to the top. And depending on how long the music track is you selected, there might be some video left at the end. So drag the bar to the end of the music track, go to Video Tools, and Set Endpoint. And you're going to want to put in some text. So you drag the bar to wherever you want the text to be. Go to Home and Caption. And you can enter anything you want. And then Text Tools is where you find all the text options. So you can change the font. And you're going to want to make it really big, like 72. Change the color. I would make it a little bit transparent. And then this arrow, the very bottom arrow, selects all the text effects. Fly in. Scroll. You can make it last a little bit shorter or longer and any other text you would want to add, just drag the black bar, go to Home, Caption. Highlight it to change the text. Again, make it around 72. a little bit transparent and then choose the effect for that text and you're gonna want to have the text match the music so text is matched up and everything's how you want it, go to the blue button, save movie, and I would do high definition so it's widescreen and 1080p. Save it to your desktop, name it whatever you want. And this part will take a little while so I'll just skip over it. Alright, so now that that's finished, you can play it, see if it turned out how you wanted it. And that's it guys, that's how you make an intro. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.